Anthony Richardson's <laughs> pro day, as I make the smooth segue. Um, you know, it, it happens on pro days where everybody loves, you know, who's the guy with his pro? Will Levis looks jacked. I don't care if my quarterback's jacked. I care if he's good. The things that we focus on, like he, he hit the roof. Well, okay, Anthony Richardson threw a ball that hit the roof. Uh, Bryce Young actually hit the roof on one of his throws. That's the new thing. I, it used to be you roll left, throw right for 50 yards. Now it's uh, Richardson said he tried to put a hole through the uh, ceiling. But uh, I, I'm still guessing it's you know, coming down to C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young. Do I think Richardson is a project? Yes. Because if you watch Stroud and Bryce Young throw and throw in games, there is a big difference between those two and Will Levis and Anthony Richardson. In particular, Richardson, because he'll give you those highlights, and this is what happens. You're like, oh, my God, can we pass on a talent like that? And he's still 20 years of age. If uh, C.J. Stroud is 21, uh, Bryce Young is 21. Bryce will be 22 before the season starts. Stroud will turn 22 in October. Richardson turns 21 in May. Will Levis is going to be 24. Hendon Hooker turned 25 in January. Now, there was a lot that was made of Mike Tannenbaum, former Jets GM, where he talked about if he was still GM, that he loved Hendon Hooker and thinks he's a value like at Seattle at five. Like, you got to take Hendon Hooker. Well, I'd like Hendon Hooker, but Mike Tannenbaum's on an island here because... Although I think Chris Sims really like Hendon Hooker, but Hendon Hooker feels like this is the Tennessee uh, quarterback. He got injured, and uh, they were having a wonderful year. I just wonder how much of his success, and this isn't fair to Hendon Hooker, I'll say it up front, can be related or connected to Josh Heupel. And Heupel, and, you know, what happens in college, you can get your receivers in favorable uh, matchups here. And I watched a couple of their games and there were a couple of times those receivers are wide open there. Now, Hendon Hooker did, you know, throw the ball to them, but are you able to throw a guy open there? You know, if you look at what Lincoln Riley did with all of his quarterbacks, I mean, Baker was great there and Kyler Murray was great there. Jalen Hurts, like, I don't know what's real. I mean, Caleb Williams with USC seems real, but I, I don't know if Kyler Murray is a great quarterback. Baker Mayfield is not a great quarterback. Jalen Hurts looks like he could be a great quarterback. But sometimes it's that quarter, you know, that coach who understands how to get these favorable matchups. And maybe that's the case with Hendon Hooker. And not fair to him. Plus, he's 25. I have four years with Anthony Richardson before he gets to Hendon Hooker's age. That's a lot. That's an eternity. And I, I can draft it. Let's say you're the Raiders. You've got Jimmy G. He's your starting quarterback for two years. Then you have Anthony Richardson. It just feels like the Raiders are going to take Anthony Richardson. And maybe somebody goes, you know, we, we don't want to miss out on him. We'll go up and get him. But Carolina and the Raiders were the two that I thought showed the most interest with him after his pro day. I don't care how far you can throw it. I care how well you throw it. Yes, yes, Paul. I saw some coverage yesterday that the fifth, sixth, and seventh picks are in play for Richardson. If he lasts that long in the draft, Seattle's got a quarterback, but not a long-term quarterback. Detroit has a quarterback, not a long-term quarterback. Mm. They but they fell into these draft picks that you know Seattle and Detroit that Vegas may not have a shot. Again, speculative. Yes, but those are some some plays. 